The wealth of Olympic athletes runs the spectrum from those with next to nothing to professional stars making millions. From medal bonuses to brand endorsements, it's time to find out how much money Olympic athletes really make. Track and Field Olympians If you're a track and field star, you're earning peanuts, unless you're Usain Bolt. The record-breaking Olympian reportedly earned $20.3 million in prize money and bonuses between 2015 and 2016. But not everyone's so lucky. According to a 2012 report from CNN, half of its top 10 ranked U.S. track and field athletes made under $15,000 annually off the sport, including sponsorship, grants, and prize money. Cinderella Story Gabby Douglas may have secured millions in endorsement deals following the 2012 Summer Olympics in London, but before then, life was hard for her family. According to the Washington Post, Douglas's mother, Natalie Hawkins, had to go on disability and couldn't pay the family's water bill in 2009. Hawkins couldn't accompany her daughter to Tokyo in 2011 to watch her win gold at the World Championships, and she reportedly filed for bankruptcy months before the London Games in 2012 after struggling to pay for Gabby's training. Fortunately, Douglas's Olympic glory turned things around. She entered the Games below the poverty line, but she was one of the fortunate Olympians to emerge as a millionaire thanks to endorsements. Selling Yourself U.S. shot put silver medalist Adam Nelson lacked sponsors and struggled financially after the 2004 Athens Games, so he got creative. Nelson sold himself on eBay. According to the Washington Post, he offered what amounts to a short-term sponsorship, promising the winning bidder that he will wear its company logo for one month and will make one appearance on the company's behalf. And it worked. Nelson inked a $12,000 deal with a tech company to advertise Rex, the talking bottle, an aid for patients who have trouble reading medicine labels. Strongest Woman in America Sarah Robles is hailed as the strongest woman in America, and she earned a seventh-place finish in weightlifting's top weight class at the 2012 Olympics. But her path to the London Games wasn't easy. According to BuzzFeed, Robles trained for the Olympics by supplementing her $400 monthly stipend from USA Weightlifting with visits to food banks, donations from friends and family, and what she called prayers and pity. Endorsements for women in her sport are rare. Fellow Olympic weightlifting medalist Cheryl Hayworth told BuzzFeed, Maybe 1 or 2 percent of athletes can actually make a living off it. It's a sacrifice that not everyone is willing to make. Sarah's ability to get through those tough times really sets her apart. Robles returned to the Olympic Games in 2016 and earned a bronze medal. Medal Bonuses Many countries actually pay Olympians for medal wins. While the U.S. government doesn't pay athletes for Olympic hardware, a nonprofit called the United States Olympic Committee does. The committee reportedly paid $25,000 for gold, $15,000 for silver, and $10,000 for bronze medals in 2016, according to Forbes. In fact, the government comes in afterwards and taxes those bonuses. In 2012, CNBC said Italy offered the world's highest payout, giving $182,400 for each gold. Russia gives a $135,000 golden bonus, and France gives $65,200. And Great Britain? Nothing. Not so great after all, huh, Britain? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to tell us which Olympic athlete inspires you the most.